Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Crazy Craft mod pack onto your server and client. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first step that you need to take is by searching for Crazy Craft on Google. So if we search for that and then it go to the website under the voidswrath.com and then you should be taken to a page similar to this one. So if we just scroll down for the download links and we'll need to download the server pack. Save that to our downloads. So once the files for the mod pack have downloaded successfully, go to your server in the control panel and then go to the file manager tab on the left hand side and then click upload file choose files and then choose the crazy craft zip that you downloaded earlier and then click open and then upload from computer and then you'll need to wait for this to upload and it may take a while depending on your internet connection so i'll be back with you once this is completed once the file has uploaded successfully you'll need to delete all the other files on your server so if you just go ahead and start selecting them by selecting the area next to the text so that highlights them in blue and don't delete the server.properties file but delete all the others. If you wish to keep them, create a folder and then put all the files into that folder um, and just name it something like old or backup. But in this case, I'm just going to delete them as I don't need them. So we're going to delete them. The reason why we're deleting them is so that the installation runs smoothly without any conflicts. So once we've deleted all the files, you need to unzip this file that we downloaded. So if you click unzip while it's selected, and then here it will provide all the files that were in that folder. So now what we can do is go back to my server and then on the jar file option here, select crazycraft3.jar and then click save and restart. So now the server should actually start up with the crazycraft mod pack installed. So if we go to the console tab and then we can see that the server's starting up and then once it's started up, I'll show you how to identify that. So you can know that the server has started up correctly once the done message is displayed and you see a green line like this saying query listener. So now that we've identified the servers running correctly, we can go ahead and join the server. So now that the server's running correctly, we can go ahead and go into our crazy craft game, which I've launched using the Void's Wrath launch, which can be obtained from this website. And then once you've done that, go into the multiplayer. I've already added the server here, so as you can see, it's got my IP address in. And then you can just join the server and it should work correctly and you should be able to join. So as you can see here, I've joined my server and it's working correctly. It's got um, massive um, Minecraft players which are generated with the Crazy Craft plugin um, and a minimap and so on. So you can go ahead and do this with your server. And if you have any problems, feel free to contact our support. You may run into a couple of problems as Crazy Craft um, does have a couple of problems that's surrounded with it. Um, but we would be able to help you solve these. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.